ask a villain whether he feels like a villain. Oh. Why would he? That's probably what makes him a villain, that he doesn't know the difference. The process to, for me to learn a, a piece of music is if, if it's a piano piece and I read it, and if it's a great piece, you get a shock because it's something new in your mm. life that is uh, completely different from all the others. So you get the first impression which is a shock. Then I can't play it, obviously, because I'm just reading it. So then I start analyzing it and I say, I say, what goes with what, what happens, what modulation, what happens with the music, what is the contrast, how does it go, etc. And I analyze it to a point where I, hope, I think I have understood what I'm able to understand. I can't say I understood the piece, we don't know that, but to a point where I can understand and explain to myself what I I hear and see in this piece and, of course, then communicate it to the audience later. But after you have done all the work of analysis and research, all that, it is very important for a musician to recapture the first mm -hmm. contact, the first shock that mm -hmm. you received, and then you are only able to make a, a great performance or a good performance if you have managed to make the unity between the two. In other words, you are able to recreate the shock of the first time together with all that you have learned about. Yeah, well, that, I, would, I would like to think that that's similar. After you break it down into as many, uh, as many details as possible that you then unify them again in, in uh, into into this uh, initial impetus. I'm convinced it won't be the same. It it would it will not. Uh, the energy should be that kind of energy, but um, the actual expression will be a different one after the work. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to do the work. Of course, and I think humanly also there is something uh, similar because. To be a musician, a performing musician, you must have an extraordinary modesty to differentiate between what you think, what you feel, yeah. and what is in yeah. the text. You read it without that, you cannot even attempt to do 1% of justice uh, to a great masterpiece of music. But then, the mere fact that you let people announce your name, that you're going to play or conduct or whatever it is. That, for that you need this kind of self-confidence, which is contradictory to the, to the modesty. And I think that's the same for you. Well, yes, um, with, with um, possibly the exception that, um, um, look, in, in, in my profession, it's, it, I always say stardom and acting are two different jobs. And not everybody does both. Um, not, you know, not all stars are real actors. They're stars. And they, they service that image. Very often actors want to be stars and f neglect the acting, possibly due to the, f to the lack of tangible elements in, in, in what we do. With you, and I notice that with great musicians, every time they have their mannerisms and this and that, and they throw themselves back and forth or roll their eyes or breathe heavily. But the music, once the music starts, it's about the music. Um, with us, it's very often once the performance starts on a screen or on a stage, it's still the star playing the star. And oh, somehow, you have that in music too. Yeah? Yes. It's the combination of the necessary modesty and self-confidence, I think, is very difficult and quite rare. Hmm. 
again, in, 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 because the actor and the, and the character are con so congruous that it's very hard to separate. So if the actor during his performance um, is acting out his own desire to be in the foreground, that will be the character he plays. So it'll be wrong. Whereas, you know, a, a musician who is acting out his personality can still, can still um, uh, separate the music from his, own, uh, from his own persona. Is that true? One thing I've always wanted to ask uh, act and, and a, a great actor, how do you manage to become one with the role you are playing if the character of this role is completely opposite to your character? That, that is why I say what am I doing is more productive for me than trying to figure out how to do it. I pursue a very specific approach. And um, I firmly believe that acting is essentially difficult because you have to get out of the way of the character and suffer yourself. Um, you have to you have to suffer your own shortcomings, your, your own dispositions, your, your own uh, complexes. You have to avoid your own restrictions to become the defining moment. So get out of the way, take yourself out of the way so that the, the actual character that you're supposed to be playing, which was created by a writer, can take place in the true sense of the word. And um, because I've played so many evil people. That's why I'm asking you. Well, yeah, but, but you know, that's, that's, uh, that's a judgment. You can't play a judgment. You can't play that you like the second movement in the Beethoven Sonata. You can only play the second movement in the Beethoven Sonata. That's what, what I mean with the rather long-winded and theoretical uh, blah, blah. You, you can't play your opinion. You can just can play the thing. Yes, but the, I, I understand that. I, but do you have a difficulty in really feeling like a villain when you're not one? Well, you know, that, uh, I doubt that a villain. You don't feel schizophrenic. That's what I'm no, saying. no. I mean, I mean, yeah, there's that possibility always, you know, or drugs. But um, um, if if you are just you know regular regular person doing your work. Um, Ask a villain whether he feels like a villain. Oh. Why would he? That's probably what makes him a villain, that he doesn't know the difference. Don't impose, or that's what I'm trying to do, to avoid imposing my okay. framework, so my psychological, my moral framework, my, my whole... Yeah. But that, chart. of course, in a, in a different way is the same for the, for the musicians. You know, you have to really get into the piece and play the piece and not what you right. feel right. about the piece. But what you feel comes out of your intuition and your knowledge mm -hmm. of the piece and your capacity for intensity. And this is what right. communicates to the public. But it's not about how I play a Beethoven's right. Sonata. I have to get inside and really be absolutely at the service, the right, fidelity right. to the to the matter in question, which are these black spots yeah. on white paper. Anyway, thank you very much. Well, thank you. I hope when we will continue this. Anytime. 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 Anytime.